You know, a couple of years ago, I never imagined I'd be saying this, but the Vegas Golden Knights are one of the top teams in the NHL. So for most of their fans, it's been a really great season. But that has not been the case for the Sullivans, a Calgary family who had been Golden Knight season tickets holders since the team debuted in 2017. Earlier this month, the team told the Sullivans their season tickets had been revoked because the family bought them with, quote, with the intent of profiting off their purchase. Cheryl Sullivan is joining us this morning. Cheryl, good to talk to you. Hi, good morning. All right, just to set the stage for people, your family does own a home in, Cal in uh, Las Vegas, but you primarily live in Calgary. And because of that, you can't make it to all of the games, obviously, down in Vegas. So you sell the tickets to the games you can't make. Uh, you were upfront about that fact when you purchased these season tickets. That's correct? Yes, it is. You betcha. So what did they say to you then at that time? Um, you know, at the, at the beginning of buying them, it was no issue. Um, we bought a full full season. I even had a couple of days later had a uh, buyer's remorse and tried to renege on them. And you know I could buy up, but I couldn't buy back down. So uh, he assured us that we'd be okay, that we'd be able to sell some, and we went with it. Inform everybody as well. The team did send us a statement. We asked for uh, you know their response, and they said our team does a significant amount of research on any account before making any decisions related to ticket memberships. So we did ask them to elaborate on what specific research that they did into your case. They declined to provide us with that information. Is there anything, Cheryl, that you can think of that would have led them to decide that somehow you bought these tickets solely for profit? Um, absolutely. I mean, I, I have talked to them as well. Um, it does look like the, the Flash Seats app that I use in order to go to the games, transfer the games, sell the games. Um, it does show that me, myself, on my actual app have only been to two games. But I've transferred to my husband, my father-in-law, my in-laws, my, my sisters. Um, so, I mean, the transfers, because they're different people, it's friends and family. You know, my, me, myself, this season I've only been to two games and we should on my app. We should also point out that you are using a, a site approved by the Golden Knights to resell these tickets. It's not like, you know, you're going on social media or something. Um, I also understand that there is a percentage of games that season ticket holders are supposed to attend, but that number wasn't disclosed to you. Is that correct? Yes. When I asked about it, they told me it was an undisclosed number and they wouldn't comment any further. So, I mean, I'm no expert, Cheryl, but it sounds like they maybe didn't do all their homework, but somehow you're being penalized. Absolutely. I'm sure I fall into a gray area. There's, I'm sure there's people that should be, you know, have their tickets revoked because they are selling them and not going to the games. Um, but we bought this in the sole purpose for friends and family and ourselves to enjoy uh, when we can get down there as much as possible. Uh, how do you want this resolved? What do you want to see happen? Um, I just want them to, you know, maybe recheck their policy and obviously change it as of today. Um, because, I mean, you know, that's even a gray area. I, there's nothing on my policy says that I've done anything wrong. And yet to get that email, I, I don't think is right. Well, we hope the situation gets resolved for you to your liking, Cheryl. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you very much for having me.